Hello, Common Sense Rip back with a update to the soap hack that we did. I didn't like cutting the hose in half. I didn't like putting the one-way check valve in the middle of that. So instead, what I've done is I found a, it's actually a one-way check valve. I don't know if you can see it there. This actually does a couple things. It has a one-way check valve built into it. The ball's on the end there. You can hear it kind of rattle around there so that when you draw the soap up through there, it can't go back down. The other thing I liked is that there's a screen, right? To make sure that the dirt and stuff doesn't get sucked up into the, the hose and the pump assembly and stuff like that. If you notice the holes are on the side under the screen. And why I like that is because you could potentially in using the hose and putting it into the bottom of your soap container, be on the bottom of the soap container with a hose thereby when you're trying to suck the soap out of the container would actually be trying to suck the bottom of the container up through and you wouldn't get any soap to come up through there. So by putting this one-way check valve with the screen and the side intake, you don't have to worry about that being stuck in the bottom. The check valve is done on here so you don't have to cut it halfway up the hose. And the screen keeps any of the dirt and plugging things out of the out of the line. Um, it is our second pump, so we did pick up a, a, um, a secondary. This is a, just a Danko soap dispenser. We found a local hardware store. It, it it had the tank, but it didn't have the tube that went into the bottom of the piece here. Uh, this was like 10 bucks, so it's not any kind of money to spend to get a pump that'll do this thing. The hose that it did come with is extremely hard though. So it didn't really work the way I wanted to as much as I had a little piece to put into the top of the funnel, but we're, I'm getting rid of really all of this. What's important to know is that the outside of this tube is a quarter inch. And so to connect this nice tubing that we found locally, and I'll put some information in the down below about this tubing, I wanted to, you have to be able to connect that into here somehow. So what I able was able to find, what I was able to find around the house was some straws that my wife had bought for us. They were like a reusable straw. That's exactly a quarter inch in outside diameter. So this actually pushes into this pump dispenser really nicely. And it gives you the ability to now connect the hose on the end of that. And when you push the end on the hose here, I do a little bit of soap around here to make it slippery enough to get this thing up about an inch, inch and a half. So, I mean, you get a good grip on that and it won't come off the end of that. And then the other half obviously is gonna just be put into the pick up one-way check valve from the bottom. Now to get this through into the gallon jug that we bought, uh, this pickup tube filter assembly is actually a half inch. So what I've done is I've gotten a half inch drill to be able to drill a half inch hole into the top of the cap here so we can push everything back down through inside there. And I'll spare you the <laughs> watching that. I'll be right back. I'm glad you missed that. <laughs> So we've got the hole drilled through here. We've put the pickup tube on the bottom of the hose. We've dropped it all the way to the bottom of the, you can actually see it there in the bottom of the jug. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna lube up the tube here. I'm gonna push it down through the sink. And then I'm gonna slide this up onto this hose for about an inch, inch and a half or so. And then hang on a sec, we'll be right back. Okay, so with the hose connected up on the top and the end of the tube like I showed you, um, everything's set up in place here. We should be able to start pumping this. And we should see the, yeah, here comes the soap up the hose. And for the first time, it's gonna take quite a few pumps to, to see it climbing up the hose, getting up to the top of the tube. And there we go. <laughs> nice. 
If any questions, don't hesitate, shoot them down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can and hopefully it'll help you out.